Hello, uh, welcome to another video. Here we will basically discuss how to calculate the genotypic value and the allele effects on the genotypic value given the population uh, phenotypes. So we begin by uh, a simple explanation of what a genotypic value means. An idea of additive genetic variance is important before we move on, which is that an allele's independent effect on the specific phenotype can cause a phenotypic deviation from the mean phenotype, and it is a source of heritable variation. So the resemblance between parents and offsprings is entirely due to the additive effect that genes have on a phenotype. Type. So here, the average value of the population is a simple multiplication of the frequency uh, and the value of the phenotype. The frequency itself represents the number of times the particular allele is present in the genotype. So if you have the alleles A1 and A2, we can represent them by the frequency P and Q. So the genotype A1, A1 will have the frequency P square. The A2, A2 genotype will have Q square. And for A1, A2, they, these may be present two times. So we have to calculate PQ plus PQ, and we simply represent them as 2PQ. So in a case where we have a frequency of a certain allele that is provided, we can um, basically calculate the other one by taking the subtraction of it from 1. So coming to the actual exercise in Excel, if you are given the value of allele P as 0.9 and Q as 0.1, then the genotype frequency, uh, so the frequency for this genotype is going to be given as P square, 2PQ, and um, Q square for A1A1, A1A2, A1, and A2A2, uh, respectively. This is, uh, of course, the same calculation that we did earlier, which is the P square, 2PQ, and Q square respectively, then the phenotypic value will be given either to you. It might be the weight for the population or some other attribute which is already measured. So, so how do we calculate the mean? Uh, we simply multiply the frequency into the phenotypic value for each of the genotypes and we add it all up and whatever value we get that is the mean for this particular population and then we can simply subtract that to get the genetic deviation for all our genotypes then to calculate the average effect of the two alleles i have simply looked at this particular formula and applied this to my excel sheet so for alpha one which represents the if average effect of allele one and hence, we can have the overall average effects for both the alleles in their combinations as well as individually. Hope this was informative. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.